20 years ago, the Malaysian judiciary suffered a series of catastrophic events. The Lord President and five other Supreme Court judges were suspended. Ultimately, three were dismissed and three reinstated. The chairman of the tribunal that recommended the dismissal of Tun Saleh was rewarded with the post of Lord President. The Bar Council refused to recognize the new head of the judiciary, who nevertheless worked with the executive, with the then executive, to pack the superior courts with new appointees loyal to him. Many good men and women on the bench were either transferred out of KL or mothballed. A number of disgraceful decisions, like the one in the Aliran case, with extreme bias towards the executive, filled the law reports. Uh, around the same time, the federal constitution was amended in Article 121, Clause 1, to divest the courts of the judicial power of the federation, granting them instead such judicial powers as parliament may grant them. A judicial winter descended on the country. I have been asked in this talk to assess where we stand today on the issue of judicial independence and impartiality 30 years later. Let me say without hesitation that the winter has not yet thawed. However, now and then there are warm rays of sunlight that give hope that summer is nigh. A mature and fair assessment is not really possible because over the last 30 years, thousands of judicial decisions, some very admirable, some very forgettable, have been delivered. I cannot in any objective way assess the work of 160 or so superior court judges and judicial commissioners over the last 30 years. I can only make some sweeping generalizations about the highs and the lows of judicial conduct and recount a number of memorable or miserable constitutional developments. Before I say more, let me submit that freedom to do justice according to the law is not simply a matter of constitutional safeguards. A host of other factors within the judiciary and outside the judiciary, within the law, and within politics, economics, religion, and psychology impinged on the performance of the judge. Judges cannot be removed by parliament or the PM or the king. Regrettably, this constitutional safeguard failed tragically in the Tun Saleh episode of 1988 and the judicial winter that descended has not yet fully thawed. In terms of service, Judicial salaries in terms of service are more favorable than those of civil servants. Under Article 125, Clause 7, these terms can be improved but cannot be changed to the detriment of judges. Number of judges of the federal court. Malays, non-Malays, 84.6% to 15%. Court of Appeal, 76 to 24, 76 percent to 24 percent. High court judges, 74 percent to 26 percent. Judicial commissioners, 76.4 percent to 23.6 percent. Male, female, federal court, 69 male to 31 females. Court of appeal is very good. Uh, 52 percent males, 48 percent females. Uh, High court, 67% males to 33% females. Judicial commissioners, 76.5% males to 23.5 females. The 1988 judicial crisis gave birth to a number of other shameful tendencies within some members of the judiciary that are too painful to acknowledge. And the refusal to exercise judicial review uh, in every country of the world, though more so in some than the other, um, Judges uh, often refuse to hear cases, uh, they turn down cases uh, uh, on a number of grounds. For example, they say the issue is non-justiciable, uh, 
uh, not reviewable in court of law. Um, locus tenda is a common ground. Um, uh, then uh, procedural violations are accused. Um, and uh, on that ground, the court will refuse to hear a case. A remarkable example is uh, uh, Muhammad Juzali Muhammad Khamis, where um, there was a court of appeal decision in favor of a cross dresser who had uh, evidence that he and his other uh, partners were suffering from gender identity disorder. Uh, they had sought protection from arrest, harassment, loss of livelihood, gender discrimination, infringement of freedom of expression by the state law. Large number of constitutional articles were involved. The court of appeal gave an extremely learned decision. Uh, the matter then was appealed to, to the federal court instead of addressing the issues one way or the other.